It's been one year. I have not taken any. I was living with type two diabetic. It's been a little more than one year. I have not taken any uh, diabetic medication. Hi, Manta. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. Nice to see you. So good to see you too. Thank you for checking in with me. I appreciate you taking the time. You're welcome. So just a few questions. I would love to hear sure. how you're doing. And so my first question is, how has your life changed since you've adopted a starch-based lifestyle? So it's a huge change though. Um, I started, before I joined you, I already started, but I didn't know the true guidance. So when I came to you guys, I joined in and I got the guidance. I'm still struggling with something, but the great thing is, uh, it's been one year I have not taken any, I was living with type 2 diabetic. It's been a little more than one year I have not taken any uh, diabetic medication. And at the middle, in between, my thyroid was really started acting up. So I checked with the doctor and it was 7.2, which was really, really bad. And anytime I take medication, it makes me so sick. And then all of a sudden, I did another test. I said I need it. And it went to 0.9. And my thyroid said, I didn't take any medication, which is really good. I don't want my hypothyroidism to come back again for any reason. So the food I'm really, really supposed to eat, going, living with hypothyroidism. Diabetic is not a problem. I got that in control. It's just hypothyroidism is something which is different thing, which I cannot see. So everything else is going great. Can you tell me what some of your favorite meals are? My favorite meal is the, when I make the Indian dal. Are you familiar with that? Oh, yes. I love dal. <laughs> Indian dal and rice and some greens I make with it. Yeah, I got lots of kale in my garden and other greens that I use, all organic. And uh, we make, like, I make um, tomato salsa with lots of onion and, you know, lots of tomatoes. And we have to have that also with it. So that's something we really love. And I love beans as well. When I cook beans, like today, I already boiled the quinoa, get ready. So I'm going to do chopped up uh, cauliflower. And I love that too. Some beans and um, zucchini I have in my garden and all those things. And before eating, I'm going to stay and then mix together. And we're going to eat that with the uh, kimchi and make homemade kimchi as well. So we're oh, going to do that. That was delicious. Mm -hmm. I want to have lunch at your house. <laughs> you should have when you come this way I cook all kinds of Indian food and without oil anything and everything can be cooked and I do cook gabanza beans I use a lot cook so that I, as well. I have a question for you I hear sure. a lot of Indian people that I talk to that mm -hmm. you can't get the spices to do what they need to do without the oil is that true what do you do it's not true. <laughs> so here, so they don't know the trick, Heather. I, I am very passionate about cooking all my life. I have been cooking, going into competitions. So I'm very passionate. Cooking, I have no problem. And creating recipes, no problem. So what I do, so I am in the dry pan, I toast my cumin, fenugreek, my mustard, or any other spices I want. I put it together, toast it, and I put it separately, and then I grind it. Not very fine grind, a little coarse, I like. And then, especially, uh, let's say I'm cooking dal. So I grind it, I put it aside, 
And when I'm cooking dal, many times I do easy way. I chop up onion, garlic, anything, carrots, um, tomato. I just throw in the dal and let it cook together. When it's cooked, I put my spices in, mix with it, done. Or another way is cook the dal straight while with onion and um, and everything I want to put in and then separately I sauté onion again and garlic to give more flavor. And then I, when it's cooked, slowly, slowly, it turns kind of little brown and the brown has the flavor. And then pour your dal in it, put your spices and done. Any curry, I do the same way and I put chop up some tomatoes after um, toasting my uh, ingredients, I put it in the side, I chop up tomatoes, onion and garlic and let it cook a little and you can blend it too. And then put the sauce back in and put whatever curry you want to cook, let it cook in it and then add your spices. However, it is very easy. You can do anything and everything. I have no problem. You're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's really good. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Is there anything else you'd like to share before we sign off? I think everything else is good. That's what I'm struggling. So I'm going to speak to Tiffany. Thank you, Momta. I appreciate your You're time. You're welcome. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You too, Heather. God bless you. And it's so good to talk to you again. You too. Take care. Mm -hmm. You Bye. too. Bye-bye.